Hello and welcome back to another video in our series where we're going through the installation of SQL Server. Now hopefully you've already gotten through, it didn't take too long to do that first piece where we went through the SQL Server uh, installation center, right? And we got kind of the bare bones taking care of all the prerequisites. We got our database uh, server on there. We got now integration services, analysis services. Remember, we went with a tabular mode of analysis services. And in this one, we're going to talk right around there. Because what if I also wanted to use multi-dimensional queue, right? I'm not going to be able to. We don't have a server to support that. We didn't install it. All we can do is tabular. Tabular is fantastic. I love it. But we want the option of potentially using both forms of analysis services. That's what we're going to be focusing on in this video. How can we install basically two flavors of analysis services, both tabular and multi-dimensional? And don't forget, there's that power pivot mode as well. So you theoretically could do three. So let's once again, what we're going to do this time, we've already got what we need downloaded. We need to go back into that SQL Server Installation Center, and that'll get us going. So let's head right on over there. So I'm here in the download section. Like I said, we haven't gone through everything. You're looking at this. I've actually downloaded pretty much everything we're going to need in total ahead of time. So if this doesn't match, it's okay. As of right now, you probably only have this one, which was our SQL Server installer. Since we went through that process, remember, this was a really small download, and what it did was it went through the process of downloading all the installation media that we require. So wherever that location was, which we would have seen when we went into the installation and we hit custom, it told us the path. The default path is in C, and then you can see SQL Server 2017 Media, and just here, we can see this is option to go into the setup. This is what will get us into the actual SQL Server Installation Center. So I'm going to go right back there. It's going to be a familiar screen if you were with me on the last one. And now we're going to go from installation. We're actually going to hit the very same thing as we did before. I'm going to go ahead and hit the standalone option. But in effect, what we're going to be doing is adding another instance here. It's going to detect that we have SQL Server here. Once again, it does a little check. It's looking for installed files. Again, that Windows is here. Now here's what we need to do. Are we going to install a new installation of SQL Server, which potentially you could, but I'm not going to, or you could potentially add features to this. But if we look when we go into the add features section, it just kind of shows everything highlighted. And the problem is when we look at analysis services, great. So what you think would be obvious is actually incorrect. If we go back, we're actually going to do a whole new instance of this, but we're going to see when we choose the features in question, I'm only going to pick analysis services. So we'll see here, uh, what's the product key, developer free. And we remember this fun stuff since it's a new instance. Now in the feature selection where we picked everything, I'm not. And all we're gonna pick is analysis services. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. It of course goes through this kind of automation, the, the automatic check around feature rules to see if we're okay and approved. Um, so we'll give that a second to check. And then it's all about the configuration. Now, normally this would be blank and I believe the default here is this is probably what it says for you spelled correctly <laughs> now we cannot choose a default instance we can see that the instance name ms SQL server has already been taken and that's where we have our tabular mode version of analysis services so in this case we need to choose an instance name for it so i'm going to just call this molab and i actually like to have the instance id name the same as well so we're going to do this so now when we use later on when we get sql server management studio and we connect to the analysis services engine if we connect to either MS SQL Server or if we connect to localhost, local, whatever that is, and we hit connect, that's going to connect to tabular. But now if we connect to, in this case, it's going to be localhost slash molap, that's going to connect to the multi-dimensional instance of analysis services. So that's going to be what we're doing here. So we've got this set. I'll go ahead and hit next. Once again, it's just going to look at the server configuration. We're going to have to add ourselves as administrators, so we'll give ourselves a second. These are just the services that are going to be running. And once again, this is where we make the choice. I, I already have tabular, so I'm doing multidimensional for this, and I'm making myself as the administrator. Okay. And next, uh, summary, and then the installation. So just like before, we'll let this run. This one's only the instance of multidimensional, so it shouldn't take too long. But once it's all said and done, we have two instances, two different analysis services servers, basically analysis services. We have a service that runs in the background within the machine. We have two of them. We're going to have one that's called Molap and one that has the default named instance. So MS equals server. So the default name, but we have both. So now we have both at our disposal, ready to go 
and ready to use. So hopefully you uh, got this all set. Like I said, at any time, make sure you're pausing these videos. This got us taken care of, and now we have two instances of analysis services, tabular and multidimensional. In the next one, we're going to go through the process of installing the reporting services server itself. I'll see you in the next one.